Hey guys, welcome back to SimTech channel in the second presentation on components of an electrical substation. So the point of this uh, tutorial presentation is obviously if you are studying power system, electrical engineering, then you have a goal to understand uh, how a substation is constituted and all the components that make it and their roles. And that's what actually guarantees that electricity is delivered to the consumer safely because the substation here has to be reliable and reliability is very important and what ensure a system reliability is the components that make up that system so if you are driving your component to the optimum then your component will be performing well and there won't be any issue so understanding the role of every element in a substation is very crucial hence uh, this series of tutorial so if you haven't watched the previous one you are welcome to uh, catch up we discuss what is a switch yard and what is a power transformer and they use in substation so follow up in this uh, second uh, presentation we're gonna be talking about the tap changer so what exactly is a tap changer well the tap changer is basically uh, a device that's used uh, with a power transformer okay and its main role is to regulate right to regulate the voltage ratio okay onto the secondary regardless of what is happening in the primary so we may have a uh, primary voltage variations but the tape changer will ensure that the secondary voltage have some regulation there is no fluctuation well you may have an important question on how this regulation is actually achieved well the principle is very simple as you can see here the adjustment is made uh, on the turns ratio through this tapping as you can see here that's why it is called a tap changer so by changing the position of the tapping here we will be actually changing the voltage ratio and that will maintain a regulation on the secondary so as you can see here, if we close this switch here on tapping number seven, so this basically means the current will flow down this way, right into the coil and this way and this way to the neutral connection. So what does it mean is we're not going to make use of all this section of the coil, okay? So because we're not making use of this section of the coil, this will then alter, okay? It will change the turn ratios between the primary and the secondary okay and once that change it will result in uh, changing the voltage ratio as well and by observing into these images we can see how that tapping is performed by moving this mechanism here right so in short a tap changer basically allows the voltage to be adjusted in increment as system loading conditions require now talking about system loading we've got two type of tap changer right so there is the on load tap changer so that basically mean the system is still energized right and we've got also the offload tap changer so that's basically mean the circuit is off okay so now on the onload tap changer an onload tap changer o l t c right is basically a tap changer where the transformer will remain energized right so your transformer will remain energized while you are uh, basically trying to change the turn ratios okay so now this is very much uh, important for applications where uh, the voltage conditions fluctuate very much frequently and this is good for power distribution network where you've got different type of loads are connected and your transformer will remain uh, energized the one disadvantage of an OLTC system is that it's expensive right I mean imagine you have to uh, do a tape changing to maintain regulation while your system is running online so basically you are not putting your system off your consumers are still receiving the power while you are actually actively busy uh, doing regulation so it's an expensive system compared to a system where you have to power dump everything uh, before you can uh, do your tap changing regulation so the off circuit tap changer in short OCT 
TC, right? Off circuit tap changer. Now in this uh, type of tap changer, you obviously you have to power down your circuit. The transformer must be de-energized before you can try to uh, do a, a voltage ratio or turn ratio change okay so now that's the only disadvantage but this is a cheaper option the off circuit tape changer is mostly uh, implemented in circuit where the variation in load is very much less frequent okay and this is mostly also for system where you need to disconnect your transformer right to put it out of service for maybe uh, to service your transformers and while you're servicing your transformers then you can also affect the tap changing as they are needed maybe there is going to be a new load requirement in the system then you're going to do the tap changing so that is basically it for the two type of tap changes that are used in electrical substations and also the tap changes have different type of mechanism right so that will basically be how the changings of the ratios are controlled now these uh, mechanisms can either be electronics or mechanical and this is really it's vastly depend on the design of the transformer that the tap changer must be uh, inserted into as we've said earlier these tap changers they are installed on the side of the transformers on panel mount as you can see here so it will be very much depending on the design of the transformer that will uh, determine the type of mechanism a particular tap changer to be uh, included on that transformer should have. So this one here clearly we can see these are mechanical uh, tap changers because we can clearly see there are uh, selectors here or diverter switches that basically will be switching uh, to tap into different sections of the coil as we've illustrated here. Now the other tap will be electronic, so that will be solid state. So now solid state are basically they will be making a use of uh, uh, MOSFET semiconductors, transistors to basically affect the switching. So you'll be sending your signal. So this will mean you can have a device uh, that can communicate remotely so that you can affect your tap changing remotely without uh, being physically uh, next to the transformer to do that tap changing. So in conclusion, it's important to note that these tap changes are very vital. Although it is a very uh, small part of a power transformers element, but it is very vital uh, because it maintains voltage regulations on our power systems, okay? Because this will ensure that we always, always have a desired voltage on the output despite all the fluctuations and the change in the load conditions so that is it guys for this tutorial so if you find it useful please uh, give this a thumbs up and let me know on the comment section below what are your thoughts about tap changes in power systems uh, applications on power transformers and that is it for this uh, presentation stay tuned for the next upcoming presentation where we are going to be talking about the other electrical component found in a substation until next time cheers